whole new episode of Chuck. It seems that we have audience members from all sides. Who have we got here today? Let's hear from our three teams. Team number one, where are you visiting us from? We're here from Silver Spring. And uh, what kind of experience do you bring to this competition in terms of your kitchen experience? Lots. Oh really, what do you help make at home? And what kind of cooking do you do at home that has prepared you for this day? <laughs> Awkward silence. Hopefully your contestant here has a little more experience in the kitchen. I've never cooked anything before. But... <laughs> okay, well, good luck to you. Good luck to you. Story. All right, and our third team here. Experience in the kitchen, any? Yeah. Oh, and making what? A lot of things. A lot of things is the answer. He cooks for every show. Visiting family in the audience. Let's hear from you guys. For the first time on TV, the Meta Man. 
Thank you. But we also need to sing to Maratova. Her birthday's tomorrow. For those students who have been earning meet a man notice, you will be called up when we come back after our winter break. First of all, we had a whole grade of students, third grade, who did a very big mitzvah this week. Third grade, what did you do? So they went and they sang songs, went to the Hebrew home. I heard you are awesome, you behaved great, and you did a great mitzvah. Way to go, third grade. Fourth grade! I know it has been a while, but I didn't get a chance to congratulate you last week for something very special that happened. Fourth grade, what happened last week? So you are awesome at the Tanakh celebration, you guys Tanakh. Congratulations, fourth grade. Now, last week we had an awesome uh, Hour of Code event. Where are all the bigs? Bigs, you did a great job working with your littles. Way to be excellent role models for them. Anybody who in the last two weeks has gotten a star sticker for displaying Great Me Toad, please stand so we can recognize you. A round of applause. Kindergarten! Kindergarten, as always, thank you for making sure that Mr. Becker is well fed and taken care of. You are always sharing, it is so nice. And a final thank you to my wonderful fifth graders and everyone, second graders and everyone who wish me happy birthday or help make today special. And fifth grade, fifth grade is getting close, 146 days away.
Israel has learned how to desalinate water, turn it into drinking water, and even grow things in the desert using drip irrigation. But Israel's innovation of water is not new. This week, off the coast of Carmel, in Israel, there was a discovery made under the ocean about water. You see, as the ocean tides rise, there's a concern in Carmel almost 6,000 years ago, before Abramovi, that the city would get washed into the ocean. Let's take a dive and see the wall that we found under the ocean, protecting the rise of water so the Carmel community could survive, which unfortunately, it seems like eventually it fell into the ocean. Here we are at the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, because of how shallow it is here, we're actually going to do a snorkel as opposed to a dive. And we're going to go just a few meters off the coast where we can see what's underneath. So the dark clay here, that's clay from nearby beds of rivers, riverbeds within a mile radius to this spot, which looks like it was here to hold together the wall which is just over on the other side of this little ridge. And this wall looks like it was put here to hold the water back from rising and flooding the population in the city nearby. These big stones look like they come from the riverbed nearby as well. Amazing find. Yes, my friends, this week is Hanukkah, and we've toured and traveled through Israel and learned about the presses where they made the olive oil. You can click on some of our videos from prior years to learn about that. See you next time on Artsenu, where we tour and travel through our homeland, through Eretz Israel. Shalom. Remember, Artsenu was a proud sponsor of the Chaf team of Rabbi Pepper and Malka Bagrat. Chad, Chad, Okay, welcome back from our commercial break. If you're just joining in and just tuning in now, we have three teams who have 15 minutes on the clock to create a latka. Now we're going to turn it over to our judges who are going to each can ask one group about their plan for winning this competition. Or Viva and Svi, what's your plan for winning this competition? Not having too much water in the office. So what is your plan for winning this competition? We have a secret ingredient. This is Levine, and we would tell you, but then we have to tell you, and that would be terrible. <laughs> All right, ooh, we are almost done over here. We are, we are. Those look good. What's your plan for winning? So we have a secret ingredient. Which, uh, which is amazing. We actually forgot about draining water like Mara Viva did, which is the way you're supposed to do this, apparently. Um, this is my first time making latkes. I hope that they're edible, but uh, we're, we're very hopeful. We also chewed a little smidge and put a bunch of commercials in the internet for ourselves. I look forward to tasting all of them. They look delicious. Yes. How do you like a camera? What's the time? Well, right now it's 1.46. What is it? I have no idea. Boy, is it cold out here. 
But the good news is it won't stay this cold all vacation long. So here's the deal. Today, really cold. Tomorrow, still really cold. And Sunday, continued, still really cold. With sunshine all three days. Then, a mix of sun and clouds for the rest of the week. And the temperature should hit mid-40s or maybe even see the low 50s. All the way through Wednesday and Thursday, Friday a little bit cooler, and then Shabbat will be so cold we might actually have ice falling from the sky. Special for Shabbat Hanukkah. Don't know what one has to do with the other. This week's weather update is brought to you by me and Rabbi In the week following winter break, there is a very high chance of a lot of snow. Let's keep our eyes open and see what we can
snuff, snuff. Who's there? Lou. Lou who? Make up your mind or you'll tell her now. What did the Pacific Ocean say to the Atlantic Ocean? Nothing. It just waved. Why did the pillow Why did the pillow go to the doctor? Why did the pillow go to the doctor? Cuz it felt stuffy. It felt stuffy. Why do you don't see the air? Why do you don't see the air? Why do you not see the air? Because you just feel it. How does a hero drink water? How does a hero drink water? With just ice. Be more perfect. I see you're having 
having a taste, having a taste. Okay, and if you ever need to cook, get me. Judges, we leave you with that. Because each of us actually thought that one of the lockers was the best. So we are happy to say that is a three-way tie. And any of you are welcome to come over to my house anytime and do some cooking. <laughs>